Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're doing amazing because I'm doing all right too. It's just been, it's been a decent week. I'm not going to lie. Well, today we're talking about Alicia Doherty and Alex's birthday because everybody's like, hey, you should do that. And that's what I do here at the Dad Challenge Podcast. We keep calling them out. I just, you ever just get like a gut feeling about something that you feel like something's about to happen? Now that could be either her trying to sue me, which is probably coming down the pike, or something else. With the amount of people who are reaching out to me in the back end, which I can't corroborate, it's actually getting kind of crazy. We're talking like people who know them. And that's why Alicia, when I first did my, my video about them and people talking about them behind their backs kind of thing that were in their circles, Alicia then made sure that people sign NDAs who could possibly have anything to say about them. Not everybody, but there are some people that have had to sign them. But one thing's for sure, Alicia's been trying to hustle for her whole existence. Okay, it's never been enough. She's always got to be part of something. And one of those things was an MLM called 31 treats or some shit, gifts or something. And uh, as a person who was sucked into an MLM for a weekend myself to Cutco, I have never in my life forgiven myself and MLMs for what they do to people, okay? MLMs prey on the dumbest and poorest people ever, okay? I was kind of in between jobs. I didn't have a job. I was like, what, 22 or something like that? And I was just like, oh, I need a job. And there's they always have that ad like, you know, make this much money. It's like so good. Work on your own time. And you fall for it once. See, the thing is for me, you fall for it once. You don't ever fall for it again. If you fell for an MLM, that's forgivable, okay? Because especially early in the day when they weren't so prevalent, you didn't know what they were. I didn't know what they were. And so you get into there and you they, you get to the thing and it's, you're like, you're not getting paid for the sales. Oh yeah. You also have to buy the knives that you're going to go show people. And it's like, you bastards. I got out. I sold one set of knives and I was like, I am never doing that. I'm like, F you, you dink hole dick weights. And I was done. But I'm telling you though, their knives were good. <laughs> That's what kind of got me. I'm like, well, these are good. Not going to lie. Anyway, so I got sucked into MLM. So I kind of know what it's like. But she gets sucked into MLM because... It, but And Alicia was just trying everything all the time. And this kind of popped up. People have been sending me this for a little while. But this is Alicia walking us through how to do a warm call. And I've been in sales. I was in sales for so many years. Okay, everybody, I worked for Bell. I worked for a thing called Sun Rocket, I think it was called, like uh, when, v when VoIP phones were big. So I did VoIP phones, and then I worked for Dell Computers. I did sales on, on call centers for years. I've been doing sales and sales. I, I just was gifted in sales, okay? I can make any, I can literally coerce people into buying anything. I'm good at it, but at, at some point, I think I was working for Dell, and they were trying to get us to sell TVs, and there was a competition or something like that. You get to ring the bell, and you would, and you would get bonuses. But they tried to sell us to get us to sell TVs to people as monitors for, for computers. And it was a little bit shady. And I got a little bit pissed and I quit after that because I, because they were like kind of forcing us to do it. And so I said, I don't want to do that. And they're like, you're doing it. And I said, okay, fine. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you I can do it. And then I'm walking out. And I sold a bunch of TVs and I left because I didn't like that. That's the last thing sales job I ever did, I think. I did real estate. But anyway, sales is sales. So Alicia is now going to teach us sales and how to do a warm call. If you don't know what a warm call is, it's somebody you know. MLMs use what's called your sphere of influence to sell shit to people and to build your downline. You ever get a call from someone from high school you haven't spoken to in 20 years? Almost 100% of the time, it's because they're part of an MLM now. Okay, they use warm relationships that might not even be warm, right, to sell. And it's just gross. Because it's like a guilt thing for a lot of people. Like, you're just like, oh, I'm your friend. You got to buy shit off me. It is nasty. MLMs. Although psychologically they are genius in the way that they do things, they are so terrible. So let's see if Alicia knows how to do a warm call. Here with 31 gifts, and I'm here today to show you how to do a warm call. Oh. Hi, Karen. This <laughs> Hey, Karen, how are you? Yeah, I know I haven't spoken to you in like 20 years. You, no, I'm still drinking White Claws. Yeah, no. <laughs> how are you? Okay. Okay, now I'm Karen. Okay, I'm, on, I'm Karen now. All right, let's do this. This is Alicia with 31 Gifts. How are you? Who? I'm good. Oh, wait, do you have a minute? No. Karen, I'm know. so excited to tell you about our brand new fall catalog. It is the best one we've ever had. What? What fall catalog? What are you talking about? I don't know what 31 is. You already failed this call, Alicia. And we have brand new hostess exclusives and booking bonuses. Oh, okay. It I don't give so a shit. Great. Oh, okay. So I remember at Jen's party, I saw you eyeing that retro metro bag, and I. No, I wasn't. I didn't like the retro metro bag. I was eyeballing you because I'm like, who the hell is this lady? 
definitely help you host a party. Uh, and, I don't want uh, to. And help you earn that Retro Metro bag for half price or even uh, for free. Earn it for half? Okay. No, thanks. Okay. No. Yeah, I said course. no. I said no! What day of the week is good for you? No day of the week. No. Okay. Let me look at my calendar. I you don't how you don't have a calendar. Twenty seventh or September twenty second. No, I, no thanks. Okay. No. Definitely. Can you hear me? I'm Hello. Follow up email. Can you um, hear me? You no. Invite list put together. No, I don't want it. Work on that soon, okay? Hello. Thanks, no. Bye. Hello. Hello. I don't want it. Oh my god. F that lady. That's what happened to that call. And then like the sound disappears for the. I don't know what happened in the video. The sound goes for the last half of the video, but basically that was shit. And all these people who show MLMs, they do this. They're like, let me show you how it is. Let me show you how easy this is. And you get some chachi D bag who like sells and doesn't mind performing for people in front of all these people. Come on up here, Josh. Let's show them how it's done. And you got to get up there, embarrass yourself while they pretend you're the person on the other end. Right? In reality, sales is nothing like that. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's quantity over quality. The more calls you make, the more you're going to sell. That's it. That's it. That's it. If you have an inbound call center, you'll sell more, right? Because they're looking for something. And it's easy to sell on an inbound call because they're looking for something. You can upsell them and everything, right? What she just did there was load of bullshit. And it never, ever goes that way. Okay? It never does. I can help you earn that bag for 50% off, even though it's marked up by 3,000%. Oh, that was cringy. But that's basically... Alicia in a nutshell. Okay. She has been, she has been again, grinding and hustling her whole life and then found something that works for her and ended up being morally piss poor, right? Exploiting children in their stories. And even in the video before this, she talks about how she's going to, she has Alex in the video and she's like, here's how we do it upsell. And she's using Alex as like, he needs all these therapies and everything. That's why I joined 31 gifts because my kid has problems. And she even put that out there way early in the game. I'm not sure Alicia has access to these accounts because they would have been deleted a long time ago if so, okay? There's also, she has a Twitter, Yaya yeah, yeah stuff that has like a whole shit ton of stuff about her in-laws and more drinking and everything else. She has a whole history she doesn't even remember she put online. And thanks for that, Alicia. We appreciate it. And so that leads us to Alex's birthday. I don't know how it leads us there, but it does. Alex and... Uh, so Alicia and Alex says, bio mom, go shopping. And I have got him blind reacting like I normally do. I'm sure it's just going to be a whole shit ton of stuff because I got him a Jeep last year, which I still don't think he has his license. I, I don't think that he, I think something happened. I don't know, but they're buying him. I don't know what they're going to get him this year. So let's, let's, let's take a look at and see in this. <laughs> It's Alicia and Sarah with the Dr. D Dozen, and today is Alex's 17th birthday. If you're new here, I am Alex's adoptive mom, and Sarah is Alex's biological mom. Oh, but you were walking through the through the parking lot the other day with the Walmart ladies, like, are these yours? They're mine. And you say Alex is yours. And by legal, all legal avenues, Alex is yours. You're his mom. And But when the bio mom's there, you say you're adopted mom, and that's bio mom. That's really weird. Also, don't forget this was a closed adoption, and that woman there lost him for a reason. So I know Alicia's trying to be all like, yeah, amazing, but that woman had a closed adoption. Do you know how rare it is to have a closed adoption? Like, courts want open adoption. Like, that's their first, and they want it. When you do mitigation, when you do when you go to like lawyers and everybody else, and you go to CAs, and you go to the Ch Children Protective Services, and all these agencies, open adoption is always, almost always offered. And like, ruled on so you have to do something pretty shitty to not have an open adoption is what i'm saying so i don't want people thinking that this woman here deserves your kudos alicia absolutely doesn't and so i just need to show you that everybody in alex's life so far has failed him we are about to go shopping let's go <laughs> i was gonna say it's weird but they open the Those are the same four stores for her kids every single birthday. Oh, good. All right. So these are what the boys like. These Nike tech outfits. They're only $200 a piece. So what ones do you think Alex will love? Oh, definitely that purple shirt. Uh -huh. And stop my watch. No. Do, do they wear matching? Teenagers wear matching shit. The extra large. Okay, what's... Yeah, 
I like it. This, <laughs> this screams Cousin Eddie from National Life Foods Christmas Vacation. Wife and I would like to help you and the kids have a good Christmas. Well, I couldn't do that to you, Clark. Well, no, we insist. Well, well, here's the list. <laughs> Get yourself something nice, too. Remember you crushed the light bulbs with the dog food? Oh, my God, it was so funny. Anyway, that's what this is giving. This, this is... Oh, I Looks like a peanut. I like that. It's not like... That's ugly. That looks like a peanut. Peanut chew? I don't even know. Don't get it. It's ugly. They have an extra large, though. No, they have a large. <sighs> have to see if they have any in the back. Does this match this? No. Yeah. Does it? It's purple. I guess it does. This is like an orangey red. <sighs> he likes XXL in pants, so they're like big. Oh, look at it. I got a step stool. Maybe they knew I was coming in today. <laughs> Normally, I <laughs> Shut up. have to go get the guy to help me. <laughs> oh, hey. stop laughing right in the microphone, a-hole. Yo. <laughs> I like this. Just one outfit. One outfit. It's a birthday, okay? It's a birthday. Notice how she's going shopping before the birthday, apparently. Okay, so someone spilled the tea on Doherty Snarkity. There's somebody in there who claims that they know the inside of Jess F of uh, Doherty Dozen's world. And apparently someone else made a video about proving that the Br Bree's birthday was done after Bree's birthday. And she made it look like she wrapped her gifts and stuff before. Because she just wrapped and then put it in the video. If that's true, that's nasty. If that's true, that is super nasty. And your kid's going to remember that. Like, why are you going shopping before Alex's birthday, but, like, Bree gets, like... No special mentions. Like, what do you do, Alicia, all day? You're such a good ma'am. Why don't you plan it? You know birthdays are coming up. Why would you get the gifts after or wrap them after? What, what, are you, what else are you doing? That's it. Back there, too. Okay. One outfit is fine. One. I feel like I like this blue. Yeah, and it's got a matching. Yeah. Okay. Do they have XXL? They do. We're doing good. That's it, man. Happy birthday. That's all you need. You have a Jeep. Get wrecked. I also like that gold, too. Oh, my God. That's enough. I'm short. Too short. These are like what eighty dollars for one of these things, and the pants are probably fifty. <sighs> I can't see it. Oh, put your camera down then. Do everything with one hand. All right, I like the scold. Oh, oh yeah, that my the god! Gold. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh! There's like four hundred dollars just worth of clothes right here. I've got the pants. That's all right. That's crazy, man. Together. Yeah. Okay. This is. You suck. You suck. <laughs> is that $719? $719 for clothes. Holy shit. I've written those. Almost a thousand. And they're not done, right? They just That's just the first store. Before. No. Is she trying to flex? Again, everybody comments on this, and I'm like, I don't think so. But now I'm like trying to see, yeah, Alicia does this to flex on the mom, right? That's what's happening here. Alicia does this on purpose. She does it to her to her followers, and she does it to the bio parents. Absolutely. Okay, we're headed to the plug next to get shoes. He doesn't need more shoes. That's absolutely a fact. Oh, okay. It's a shoe store. All right. Let's see. Hi, good. How are you? Oh, hi, Alicia. You're back for more shoes. Oh, my God. Thank God we were going to close. So he's already got the university blue. You son of a bitch. So... Again, I, she has so much money, she doesn't know what to do with it. That's the problem. 
That's the problem. But her one kid, Bodie or whatever, gets like some Hot Wheel tracks. That's just... <laughs> Alex is 100% the favorite. Like, one and do. What do you think? She bought... Someone mentioned this too. So she bought James a Nissan Sentra or something like that, like a Nissan, which is a small car. And James is a big boy. He's not going to fit into a car that size. James needs a Jeep or a van or something that's bigger to hold him because he's a big boy. So he's going to squeeze into this little tiny little car when as Alex, who's as big as James, gets a Jeep. Why don't they just get him a Jeep too? Everybody gets a Jeep. Oprah, you get a Jeep. You get... Why don't you just get him a car that fits? What do you think he'll like? There's lots of choices. Purples are cool. Right? Very lots of choices. <laughs> Very lots of choices. Okay there. Education failed you. I like those purple ones. Oh, they're, they're, really... they're ugly. $245. They only got those in a 10. Nine and a half. So see, it'll say on the tag, he likes any, uh, what sizes they carry in oh, that. Okay. So not all of them have a size 13. He's also 6'3". Yeah. <laughs> God, God, God. Shut up. <laughs> He likes the How do you not remember this lady, dude? She bought like 400 pairs of shoes in here. You don't remember her? Okay. Retros. Yeah, we don't have those ones yet. Yeah, but I don't have a 13. Not a 13. Right. He's got the University Blues already. Wow. Uh, the fours? Uh-huh. Okay. Does he have the Thunders? Which ones are those? The Thunders are the No, he does not. Okay. Are you at a train station? Platform nine and three quarters or something? What's going on? <laughs> you love us? Us? Alicia's buying it. <laughs> you get yourself something nice there, Clark. Three, stop cackling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I give you the extra love. All right. All right. Here you go. Your thumb. Here you go. I really like the... It doesn't matter what you like, Alicia. It, 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 this is her problem. I really like... Who cares what you like? There's nothing to do with what you like. Oh. Does she dress her kids in the same outfits because that's what she likes. They don't like that shit. Alicia just thinks that she just... She's buying this for herself. That's what's happening. Alicia buys all these things for her. She gives it to the kids, but it's for her. Those are almost $400 shoes that she's going to pick out. Yeah. So we're at twelve. We're at thirteen hundred dollars. We're at eleven $1 hundred dollars already. Twelve hundred dollars. Please. Yeah. I like these ones, but only because they have little. And that's who I am as a person. <laughs> oh, those are cool. Okay. Eleven. Okay. I like them because they're orange. Okay. Uh -huh. Shut up. Go 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 go. This one looks cool too. It's too late. You already picked a shoe out. Move on. I like patchwork and stuff. That's stupid. $300. So cool. Okay. Why does he gotta have such big feet? Come on. It limits our selection. These It limits your selection because you're buying people who do drops, who do like, you, you can go get, you don't have to buy super expensive shoes, but you do. Because your thumbs are weird. Today. <laughs> yeah, a little last minute here. Oh, is it last minute? That's a surprise. We don't. <laughs> you always do last minute because you don't give a shit. <laughs> and again, she does last minute. And if they don't have what she wants, she just gets something else. I said, there's no thought put into these kids at all. None whatsoever. Just, just buy them a whole ton of shit. Maybe they'll like one thing. I get them. Buggy. All right. We got outfits, we grab socks, I forgot to show those, we'll show those when we get to the house. And we got shoes, plus the stuff we bought online that he wanted, plus the stuff Josh wanted to get him for his Jeep. I think we're good, we just have to go get brown paper at Target. It's about... Why does she always cut out? It's about... <laughs> Cuts weird spots. Yeah. I have to look at the Target dollar spot. Taylor Spade! Even though I need absolutely none of this. So walk on then, dumbass. 
It's just not so cute. It's not. You do not need more shit in your house. Okay. I have no idea where you put any of this stuff anymore. It, again, it's like the Weasley's house. It's like it just closets and shit that show up and they put stuff. They must have a storage container. They just put shit in. Wow. See, you're so cute. <sighs> you're such a wasteful okay. sloth. I don't need it. It's a cart. Cart one. We haven't done a shopping adventure with a little show. Should we do that one soon just for some fun? Does he need any gift cards? No, he doesn't. No. I don't think so. You literally just, you just bought him like $1,500 of the shit and more online and everything. Doesn't need anything else. That's way too much. That's way too much. Like five. And remember Alex came in that video I showed you and said, yeah, kids get a, get very jealous of the birthday gifts that you get. Just, I want to point that out. Six gift bags. All right, those are like. I'm blue. One, two, three. You're not doing anything. Alicia's buying it all there, Cousin Eddie. Three, four, five. This woman okay. has 12 kids and just doesn't reuse bags from the birthdays. You buy these bags. You have hundreds of these bags. Why don't you reuse them? And is there any, like, wrapping paper that matches the... Here are the sacks we got, and we also grub-hubbed Taco Bell because... What are you trying to do? Prolapse a bunch of anuses in your house? That's too much Taco Bell, Alicia. For lunch? I'm, uh, I'm counting. And we <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Also grub hubbed Taco Bell because that's what he wanted for lunch on his birthday. And he There's like 60 tacos there. 60. And Duncan Sugar. Here is Alex's birthday snackerty boy. Ew. What is that? Word with what are you putting peanuts in? What are you doing? Ew. You gross, disgustoid. Mm. Who's eating? No one is eating that, right? Nobody's touching that. Duncan Blue Raspberry Culottes. <laughs> Duncan! Okay. And then you take a picture with, I love hot moms, taking a picture next to his mom. Like, I'm no problem with the shirt, but that's a little weird. Okay, that's weird. Alex and his mom are playing cards in the next room. Well, I'm going to wrap his presents, but first, I'm going to just open up. Because they shopped, like, so fast. I, I want to see what they look like. That's crazy. So the process of Lush laying out all the shit so you can see how much shit she bought him, right? It's it's all about her. It's all about, look what I've done. Look how good I am as a mom. But in the end, we, the, all the things that we have seen up to this point, the presents mean nothing, considering these kids have no idea the value of anything and never will. He's all, he's 17 now. He's like, he's going to be an, he's, I don't know if he'll ever leave this place, but man, what's this kid getting? How is he going to fend for himself? Is he going to get a job? No, he's never going to get a job because she's going to try to make him, or she's probably going to coerce him into doing social media, which it will not work, I promise you. Yeah. Lighting. Lighting. <laughs> like, I'm trying to listen to conversations in the background. You don't pay me for my whole vacation, bothering me my whole vacation. I don't get paid for stuff like that. Like, she's just putting this on the internet. Like, they're having a private conversation, and she's putting it on the internet. And here's Alex's birthday party. Oh, hold on, Alex is getting the gator. <laughs> Carrying vegetables. <laughs> Why did he park? I'm pretty sure that's enough gator, eh? Got a gang! Shut up. Okay, here we are. Look at the like, go look at the party they're doing. What did James get for his party? I forget. I don't even do we watch we didn't we didn't watch it. Did he get something special? I don't I doubt it. <laughs> It's another den. You could have just reused the balloon arch from the other place instead of building a new one. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Wow. Don't 
Don't d touch the balloons. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Whoa. What? Another sperm cake. Hi. Sony comments are like, I didn't see the sperm before. Now I can't not see the sperm. You're welcome. Notice how the vegetables will never be open. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I'll get a video you smash into. All right. So we got Alex, Natalie. Didn't it? Didn't it? Friend and or two of his friends. Okay, that's. I'm. Are you sure you're allowed to be in there with everybody? Have a bat? Like someone's gonna get hurt. Um. Okay. Teenagers. I'm sorry. I have teenagers. I'm just gonna be a teenagers with the teenage swag. There's like sub so cool. <laughs> Hey, look, I have teenagers. I'm allowed to say this, but they're all the same. They're all the same. Like, check me through this bow. Google it. Fashion, man. <laughs> girl got some form. She can throw. Shit, man. Check, go play softball for sure. James just got suited up. It's moving for you. He's going to do the... Why did he say he filmed this and then she cut it? Betty? No, uh, glitter bomb, right? Glitter bomb. Yeah. Okay, that's first of all, if you have a bat inside of a room, you should I, I I guarantee you they're not supposed to be in there with him like that. What if you let what if you let loose the bat and it hits one of them? Like I know you're wearing a face shield, but it could hurt you. I I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be doing that. Alright, let's see. Here's the so that's what your brother's gonna do. Here we go. Get out of there. No. Also, he's six foot three. He's got a huge arm reach. That is so dangerous what he's doing right there. Ah! Like, yeah, it's not that exciting, you know. Just want to make sure I totally smashed it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no cap, bruh. Oh, not ready. <laughs> Yeah, this is that a toaster oven? <laughs> no. What do you like? Okay, so why are you filming something that was so funny and then you cut it so we couldn't see it ourselves? Is that Nana? You son of a bitch! Are you there laughing? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. There you go. Damn. Oh. This looks fun. Not gonna lie. Yeah. See what happened there? He almost came in. Nobody's wearing steel toe. Sh okay, first of all. This place, they, might, they obviously get you to sign a waiver, but if you're going to be using sledgehammers and not wearing toe protection, oh my gosh, what an unsafe place this is. At least give them the ones that go over their shoes. You could lose a foot. She's smashing with a... She has no idea what she's doing. People are going to get hurt in here. So dangerous. So these guys are watching through this window here, waiting for their turn. It's, you know, it sounds just like their house normally. So they're all at home. Somebody's in the corner having a nap. It sounds just like home. I do remember. Maybe give the other kids a chance too, there, ladies. Here's huh? where I know it's food. Here's where nobody's gonna touch a vegetable. Last time. So apparently that person that's also spilling the tea says that this girl, I think is Aunt Kiki, she gets paid a thousand dollars a month by Alicia to be a personal assistant. She's the one that makes the balloon arches, she probably watches the kids in emergencies, babysits. So she gets paid about a grand a month, which isn't a lot. She probably doesn't do too much for that grand, but she does get paid to be here. I mean, who would hang out with Alicia on purpose? There's too many little kids in here with sledgehammer. Like, this is not... This is... The, guys, are you watching this? Somebody's gonna get hurt. Uh, no, he writes right now. They're, and they're not... Uh, th Somebody send this to I Smash and say, "Are you? This is how you run your shit? This little kid holding a sledgehammer? Nobody's wearing foot protection at all." That sledgehammer weighs more than Jason. Yeah. That's so dangerous. <laughs> that girl's just over 
there throwing bottles the whole time. Relax, get get someone else to try. And there's a girl right in front of her. Why don't you wait till the space is clear? This, this <laughs> must have a really good like sign off on this this one. What if she misses and hits her in the side of the head with a bottle? I don't care if you're wearing a, that. That still could hurt you. They're not wearing helmets. They're just wearing face shields. <laughs> This is probably very therapeutic for these kids because they're so destructive anyway. I'm not sure it's probably the smartest thing to do with kids who are already aggressive to do something like this. Maybe it is. I don't know. I I think it would be fun. <laughs> Again, he's right near him with the sledgehammer. Yes. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Why are you laughing, Alicia? I would be freaking right now. Wait. No. I would be like, let's do this safely. She doesn't give a shit, man. It's almost like she wants her kids to get hurt so she could film it for content. Oh my! Oh my! Look, he almost, okay, first of all, that's glass that's been broken. It tr it ran into his ankle at the bottom. Who is running this place? Oh. I'm surprised Dash wants to do it. Jesus, go savage. Hey, where's Jordan? He's standing back. Yeah. But it's got, like, so I think the main one's not as big. Everything is him like Nana. I think Nana's trying to be a little softer in her tone these days because she's watched my video. Nana, I think you're fine. You're just a little loud and obnoxious there, Uncle Buck. But thanks for trying. Happy birthday. Uh, Oh my God! Are you seven? Are you eight? Are you... Shut up! I don't see a vegetable on anybody's plate. I'm so seventeen. I didn't have anything before, but those were the shoe things you wanted. My son just bought those. That's funny. Yes. Organized. Wow, that was great, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Surprise! 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 Surprise!
This guy has, these kids have no joy when opening gifts. Could you imagine your children opening gifts without joy? What? That is so. Right? Anyway, so the chickens are dead. Okay, that's all you have to do. What is going on here? Man, it makes me appreciate my children a lot more when they open gifts. They're so thankful for what they get. Man, that's parenting, though. That's got to be parenting. Does it make ghost stuff? Yes, but it's a different brand. Okay, well, she just bought him 20 cases of that shit near Christmas. Did he already finish it? Because that's this kid's going to have a heart attack soon if he keeps drinking that shit. Oh, so this is the morning. Oh, that's from Jack. I don't know what it is, really. Oh, the new headlights. Yay! Because my headlights are destroyed. Your headlights are destroyed. Maybe stop hitting garbage cans then. I don't know. Maybe that's a solution instead of buying new headlights all the time. Stop crushing garbage cans inside the road. Or I don't know. I I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just... My bad. Okay, thanks. Super appreciation day. What? When he gets to be an adult too, and people give him gifts, he's gonna be like, I don't give a shit about any of this. Like it's gonna be, he's gonna, this kid's gonna struggle in relationships. Hey, I wonder what that is. I wonder what it is. <laughs> is it that funny? Is it really that funny that it deserves a cackle? Is that a cackling joke? Okay. This is, uh, another keyword cap, right? Also don't know what that is. It's, yeah. it's lights. Oh, okay. Look at those. Those are nice. my lights are messed up in my Jeep. Learn to drive. Fancy. Also, my feet are hurts. <laughs> Where is Josh? Where's Josh been? Yeah. Right? They could have been here to begin with. They chose not to. So. Whoa! Well, bio mom stepping in with some some snark. They could have been here to begin with. They chose not to. So f them, those little bastards. Yeah, cause she's like, open this shit. I want to get somewhere else. <laughs> bio mom, that was rude. And nobody. Okay, Alicia probably didn't like that, or doesn't give a shit. She's probably like, where? Yeah, she, mom, the bottom mom's probably like, where is everybody? How is this a cohesive family unit? Nobody gives a shit about each other. That's so dangerous as a family unit. Okay, the crushing of the paper. Yes. Got a shower speaker now. Just what you needed, a shower speaker. How do you spend more than five minutes in the shower with 12 people who need to have showers? What? <laughs> Deshaun's like, you're opening presents? What happened? That's because no one gives a shit about this, anybody in this family. Yes. Opening presents. I forgot to text everyone. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, they answer your text, but when you like... I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's too many rooms in this house to go tell people. What's for dinner, Chad? Uh, there you go. Number one. She just asked twice. Oh, yeah. That was twice. But just wait. Everybody in this room. Did you hear what happened for dinner, guys? You sure? Yeah, this woman is not liking these kids at all. Something's up. Okay, hold on, buddy. Um, don't ever ask what I'm for dinner. How many people are going to ask? Hey, have you ever known that you know this family, right? You know that they are they don't talk to each other. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows shit. Alicia doesn't parent. Are you surprised at what you're seeing right now? This bio mom has like had enough and she's lived only been there for like two days. Imagine living here. Imagine being these children in this chaos. A new wallet, cause I needed one. Ooh, come, uh, come over here. That ain't no extra, that's for sure. You guys don't forget about the extra wallets. They're way better than whatever the wallet that is. Okay. Put the cash right here. Okay. 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 No, I just wanted to see what, what kind they were. What? Do you know what kind they are? Just by looking at them? Yeah. No, he doesn't. If I would have got a pair of shoes like that when I was a teenager, I, all my Christmas would come at once. I would have been like the most ecstatic person in the world. This kid's like, oh, what's next? 
That's so. Shut up. No thanks. Okay, then. nothing, nothing. Doesn't give a shit. Wrapping paper is expensive. <laughs> yes, it's getting hairy. <laughs> trying to be more frugal. Are you trying to be more frugal while buying your kid two thousand dollars worth of birthday presents? I believe you. What happened to your chickens? What happens all the time? There's three more cookie cakes. Three more cookie cakes. Thank you for spending my birthday with me. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. And you belong. I am so proud of you. See you next time. There's Josh. Josh shows up in the last one second of the entire video. These kids are not told that. Only the audience is told that. That's why they don't understand what they're saying. They have to be told what to say. Again, same thing happens. Well, there you go. The shit show birthday. And the MLM's chill. That cold, that warm call was some kind of something, Alicia. You're real good at that. No wonder you decided to exploit children instead. You suck at that shit. Everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> Thanks for joining me today, everybody. I think you're amazing. I think you're incredible. I think you're valuable. And I think you should forgive yourself if you do need to. Okay? And be present for your children. Don't do some of this shit that she's doing. You guys stay good. You guys stay beautiful. And I will see you.